all right what's up guys um so go with me here guys i sold my truck i haven't fished in two weeks i got a new truck lots changing guys stay tuned this is your boy bass and furious i'll walk you through it let you know what's going on so what's up guys welcome back another episode here bass and furious so guys in today's video as the title indicates i am selling my truck guys so i'm selling my truck uh, i'm no longer gonna have it i'm actually selling it to a place called um corvana and they're actually pulling up as we speak guys so um i'm gonna go ahead and get some of that on film for you guys to show you what's going on with my truck here so stay tuned I am currently digging through my shed, yikes, um, trying to find uh, some Christmas decorations, guys. It's that time, time to put the tree up, get some presents going here, and um, you know, enjoy the holiday season. Thank you for another year, another opportunity. So um, definitely looking forward to it. It's a very exciting time, but you guys know the drill. Gotta organize, get everything together. The little ornaments going and whatnot so should be fun um like the uh, intro for the video kind of talked to, to you guys about i did sell my truck so you guys have seen my dodge ram in a bunch of videos if you see me around town and see me out there with the ram uh, i was a 2016 dodge ram pickup truck i've driven it for the past five years i think um really good truck love it it was a great truck it did really good for what it was trying to do but um the reality is i bought the big truck um first which meant on the back end of that, I had to get the much smaller 16 foot uh, tracker boat, okay? Um, because I spent 50,000 on the truck, right? Right off the bat. Um, I make good money, but uh, you know, it is what it is. So um, by buying that big truck, brand new, zero miles on it, like I said, paying close to 50 grand for it, um, kind of limited in a sense my buying power on trying to get the boat. Uh, so I, I ended up buying the boat that I could get um at the time i could get i may could have got a bigger boat i really didn't try i really wanted to start on a small boat anyway like i told you guys on my video but um i didn't want to start on a 21 foot boat just flat out i didn't want that so i didn't think that was where it's at i felt like it, it was in my best interest to start small and kind of work my way up but also i really didn't have the ability to work my way up because like i said i kind of did it a little bit backwards there in my opinion um some people might think i did exactly right i i just wanted a nice truck and i went really big on the truck I could get that same truck today for like 20 grand. So was it worth 50? Did it do anything magical or special? No, it didn't. So it wasn't. So what I've decided to do guys, long story short, is um, kind of shift things up a little bit. So I sold that truck. I ended up selling it. Um, ended up making some money off of it too. That was great. So I made some money off of it. And then I turned around and bought another truck. So bought another Dodge Ram. Take you guys here. There you guys go. Now, you're asking yourself, what year is that truck? Yeah, it's a 2002, guys. 2002. Now, for anyone out there that has any common sense in the world, um, you do know that the cost for a 2002 Dodge Ram versus the cost for a 2016 Dodge Ram varies greatly. Okay? So, by that, what I'm trying to say is, I don't got no more car payments, guys. That's what I'm trying to tell you right now. I don't have no more car payments. What does that mean? That means I can buy more stuff to go fishing with and I can get that boat that I've always wanted. So um, that's the next move. I did do a huge amount of downsizing in regards to the truck. Now I got a nice used paid for pickup truck that does just the exact same thing my other truck do. It drives me from point A to point B. I work right on my street. I don't go that far. When I do have to drive, I have to drive for tournaments and I may get something for that. But what the world? What? What are you doing? You don't said that. We already found the Christmas stuff, son. What? Well, it doesn't exist. It's, it's, a, it's a red bag that's supposed to be in yeah, there. Yeah, red bag. You can't find it. All right, go. All right, you look for it because I tried. Okay. All right, so I got some help, guys, for the um, Christmas decorations. Uh, apparently, this guy, I, I guarantee you, I give him like three minutes, he's going to be upside down in the back of this thing. <laughs> I guarantee of this thing. <laughs> I guarantee Oh, I already have it. He already... Oh, Lord, he already went down. Okay, good. He's still standing. All right. Um, so anyways, so guys, like I said, I have no more car payment. That means I can buy more fish and stuff. That means I can actually get the boat I want. So now is huge, huge, huge time to hunt for the right boat. 
Um, I'm not going to go brand new, like extra, extra, extra. I'm going to get something that's affordable, that's good quality, probably used. And I got a couple buddies that can help me make sure that it's in tip top shape and then get out there and make something happen. I don't want to go smaller than 19 foot, 20 foot. I prefer to stick with aluminum. I'm really not trying to dig into the fiberglass. There's really no need for me. I love aluminum. It's great. And the way I fish and where I go, it's aluminum is the way I want to go. Ask Bill Lowen, ask John Cox. These dudes are out here killing it and they're aluminum boat. Keith Poche made the top 12 in almost every tournament these fish. Aluminum boat. So don't get it mixed up. There's a really good aluminum boats out there. And that's what I think I'm going to stick with. So anyways i wanted to kind of update you guys on what's going on with bass and fury so i haven't been fishing like i said in the video in the heading i haven't been fishing in like two weeks haven't caught a fish haven't seen a fish i barely even picked up a fishing pole what have i been doing i've actually been working um a lot a lot of hours uh, more hours than i've ever worked in my life honestly well at least in the last 15 years i've been working a lot trying to get this money stack this money pay off some stuff pay off everything i possibly can to make sure that when i go into this next phase i have a huge amount of money to be able to put down on what i want and money to um, kind of keep things rolling because I'm already signed up to fish the BFLs. I got a team series I'm fishing. Fishing is going to be the deal in 2021 as long as nothing crazy happened again, right? Um, we're going to be going for it. So that's the plan. And the goal is to have everything lined up, ready to go. So like hotels, trip, all that stuff booked and ready to go um, for the season. So there's like no stress at all. So um, that's kind of the goal. I want to show you guys as well. All right, here, let's, a quick update on the, the search. He is searching. You guys can see I got a lot of work to do. I've been doing a lot of fishing. I ain't been doing a lot of shed cleaning. Ain't no, ain't no tackle in here. There's no point in coming in here. There's no tackle. But I got to get organized, and that's this ain't this ain't me. So I will get this fixed, um, no problem. But I want to take you guys around real quick and show you some updates, some stuff you may, guys may or may not have seen. So there's this now, guys. There is the low 14 footer. Got a trolling motor on it. Got some electronics in it. I actually picked up a Garmin unit for it. I got a Garmin. Uh, 93 sv u uhd coming for us i got a nine inch screen coming for this 14 foot john boat why not i mean why not i don't see the problem with it let's do it right let's get it um so that that's i've been working on that as well i got a low um the low john boat over here i don't know if you guys can see over there i got another boat little two-person deal back there that i'm about to work on a little bit um you guys see the tracker's still here tracker ain't going nowhere tracker's here but for the next boat i'm more than likely going to sell this boat or trade this boat in and get the other boat that i want i'm gonna get this off my record all completely um and then get the actual boat that i that i want but i love my tracker tracker's great don't get me wrong and honestly if the boat deal if i can't find the perfect deal the perfect price like the perfect not perfect but just good enough for what i want if i can't find it then the tracker's gonna stay I got here's the thing I, I i'm perfectly confident in my ability to go fishing in this boat and get it in um i'll take on anybody you you can bring you can bring kevin van dam down here give him his nitro whatever he got and give me my 16 foot put us on the same body of water and give me a rod and a reel and i'm that confident I, I have no doubt in my mind that i'll something will happen i don't know if i win or lose but something will happen i will go out and i will try to find some fish and we'll see is the, the boat don't make the person man you can you can give the 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 sorriest angler in the world a 21 foot bass boat and deck that sucker out with every rod and reel known to man give them garmin pan optics hummingbird low rants live sight sonar scope magic and if he suck at fishing he, it don't matter it don't matter what he got at all it really don't matter at all what he got because he suck at fishing so that's the deal but you take someone that can fish you can put them in a canoe and and let them lose on a body of water it don't matter they're going to find fish because they know what to look for they know what they're doing so i felt like that's more important than the boat but at some point if you're going to compete at a certain level you can't show up with a 16 foot boat some you can't even you're not even allowed that's the reason why a lot of you guys ask me like why don't you fish as a boat or why don't you fish as a boater i'm not allowed to fish as a boater i have to change my live well i have to build a new live well onto this boat to make it so it can hold two limits and if it can hold two limits of five bass then I could compete in the tournaments. But right now, my live well barely holds one limit of five bass. So I can't show up to a tournament with this boat and have a co-angler and have him not even have a live well. I fish tons of tournaments myself. I can keep a five-inch limit in the boat alive and well. And I have. I've kept up to 16 pounds in here alive. No problem. Um, I just, I don't, I had to do a lot that day to make sure everything went smoothly. I, I got a, a system going in here. I got to make sure I keep checking this, check that. I don't run far. I don't do, like, there's a lot of things I don't do. Cause I want to make sure that I can. Oh, let's check. Oh, 
Okay, he's still here, guys, but he's he's kind of going down. There's, um, there's a, a water thing right there. There's a what? <laughs> there's a you splatted the water? I don't think so. You I'm, did because I see it all over you. I'm don't like, get off! Get off! Get off! I can't. <laughs> okay, there's a space for your foot. Put my, your foot down. My leg is stuck. Put down. There you go. You're good now. Okay. Now. Okay. Phew. We saved him, guys. <laughs> we saved. <laughs> <laughs> we saved him. Hold on. How much damage did he do? Dude, see a couple. Of, see a couple like, of footprints. You didn't see a red thing though, did you? No. No red thing in there. Okay, so like, it doesn't exist. I got a witness. There's, it doesn't exist, right? It doesn't exist. I got stuck like right there in the middle, like where the stuff. Was I tried to, to clear the space. I got a little walkway now. All right, guys. So the Christmas deal may or may not go the way we planned. We cannot find our normal Christmas decorations. We think something may. We're not sure. What happened to the Christmas decorations? So, uh, we're gonna have to figure this out. Um, so, anyways, guys, back to what I was saying. Um, for the boat, like I said, if you're good with the boat, um, you're letting mom know that you didn't find anything either. So, that's kind of where we're at, guys, um, for the boat. So, again, with the boat, um, I feel pretty comfortable with what I'm doing. Like I said, I wanted to learn, get better at angling, and then once I got the angling up to where I'm at, I got the rods and reel company I rock with, 13 Fishing. I got the baits I rock with. That's Omega Custom Tackle and 13 Fishing Baits. Um, so I've got everything I need for that. Now it's just time to get the nice boat and kind of go from there. But like I said, I have a budget in mind. I'm not going over that budget. I have a time frame in mind. I plan to come to the table pretty pretty nice um, when, I, when it's time to make this deal and um, kind of go from there. So that's the update, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. I know it's a different kind of video. I'm not catching fish or, or all that kind of stuff. But um with the way the channel's going it's it's almost it's winter time it's i think we're coming up on winter it's pretty darn cold out here the fish are still chewing don't get me wrong um i just ain't had no time to fish to catch them i've been working like non-stop lots of work and lots of work and and that's kind of been where it's at and you know like i said i've got goals there's things that i want to accomplish and catching a bass today ain't gonna help me get to that new boat just flat out you see what i'm saying like it's very important to catch fish as much as you can whenever you have the opportunity but again if you have goals and things like that you want to do spending three hours catching fish at the same place that i always catch fish at all the time ain't going to help me get to that new boat so we're going to work on that we're going to work on the new boat um again paying off a lot of stuff really doing the best i can to try to make sure that my family's comfortable and that we're in a position where we can succeed that's really what it's all about is being putting yourself in a position where you can't succeed there's no point in me buying a new boat and then going into debt and then having to call um 1-800 we need money now like there's, there's no you see what i'm saying there's no point in doing that so get your stuff in order get it lined up and then you just enjoy yourself you know what i'm saying enjoy yourself as we all have learned this year if there's one thing we have learned this year is that it's life is way too short to spend it dealing with a bunch of foolishness so enjoy yourself enjoy yourself enjoy your family enjoy your friends um, take the time that you can do it safely responsibly but just you gotta you gotta enjoy it. like you have to enjoy every minute that you're here every minute every second that you do um that you got you gotta enjoy it and make the most of it so as always guys i appreciate you guys like i said a little bit different video i've got a lot of work to do i've got to find the christmas tree i don't know what happened to the dang christmas tree we had it it's in a bag we don't have like the real pine or, we don't got that we just got a tree that's in a bag and we keep it in the bag every year and we pull it out and then we set it up and the tree is not in there there's trolling motors i'm sorry there's trolling motor boxes because i bought a lot of trolling motors um there's power wheels i mean there's a bunch of stuff in there but um it don't work uh, <laughs> but uh we gotta find a christmas tree come on guys find a christmas tree matter of fact comment below where i get a christmas tree they safe for a baby and a puppy we got a baby and a puppy and we don't want the baby to pull the christmas tree down on the baby and then knock it over on the puppy or the puppy to jump on the christmas tree and knock it down on the baby we don't want that so we're trying to avoid that we just need a good stationary christmas tree maybe made with some concrete base that can't be knocked over by a baby or a puppy and then we'll be fine so as always guys i appreciate you peace peace my Bass and Furious friends, you guys are awesome. I appreciate you rocking with me. Appreciate all the support, guys. We hit some goals this year in 2020. I'm very excited about that. Looking forward to big things on the next year. So keep rocking with me. Let's do this. Peace.